When you're heartbroken over some ex, were you really in love? Or did you just try to love someone and got nowhere and that's what the pain is? I mentioned this in the previous video, I mean, why do we miss our exes? And it's not that we want to go back, but we always have these snapshots of being with someone. It's that trying to love someone feels good. I mean, you can deny it all you want, but giving, connecting with another person, that actually feels good. I've done it in the past too, between one relationship and the next. You miss your ex, even though it was a terrible relationship and you're completely incompatible. And what I think it is, is that you actually miss caring about someone. A lot of the stuff I think that screws with our heads afterwards is feeling a certain way about the relationship, but not necessarily about the person and missing it. But you're not really missing them. You're missing the space where you were trying to love someone, where you were trying to care, where you were investing. But um, sometimes it gets to the point where you realize nothing comes back. And that's the heartbreaking thing. Was the relationship optimistically only up here? It wasn't really out there. It's the trying and endlessly giving and getting nowhere with an incompatible person. That's the struggle. That's the heartbreak. That's the thing that many guys don't want to face. There's nothing worse than feeling lonely while you're with someone because it screws with your head. You should be feeling the opposite and you feel the most miserable and the most lonely while you're with someone you call your girlfriend or your wife or your partner. And in the end, your expectations got crushed and it wasn't really heartbreak. Although the pain feels like that. And I'll tell you romantically, that's what it is. Love and loss and all that kind of stuff. And you equate pain with what love is. Aside from if you were with an awful person, most of the time we were just with normal, average, or even nice people that we just didn't fit with. I've met and been out with women who were perfectly fine, but it was awful when we mixed. It was like oil and water. Media, movies, online dating only exacerbate the problem. I mean, we're told that dramatic love is real love. The push-pull struggle, the years of heartbreak and heartache, and finally you break through, and then you experience real love because you struggled with someone the whole time. You serious? For what? Another problem is guys take pride in lifting heavy things, even lifting heavy relationships. Look what I can take. Look at the man I am. Ah, women, what do you do? But look how much I can take. You hear guys often proudly saying at the gym, how much can you bench, bro? Replace that phrase with how much can you lift in a relationship, bro? And you'll start to understand what I've started to see. Guys being proud of how much they can endure. The reward of a relationship is something that they get at the end because of how much they can put on their shoulders and how much they can suffer. Are you kidding? What for? What are you winning? The whole point in a relationship is that you enjoy it in the moment, not at some point up ahead. What are you waiting to retire into love after enduring pain with a partner? It doesn't make sense. And so maybe subconsciously, we pick the worst possible odds so we can feel some sort of victory overcoming something to finally get happiness at the end. But logically speaking, you're making the chances of happiness so small just to overcome the odds. Think about it, we pick cold catwalk models, blank stares of women pouting, looking hard to get, the vixen, the femme fatale. Honestly, I don't know that we really even know how to love anymore these days with those kind of models at the forefront of men picking uh, what's desirable to them. It's almost as though we don't want people. The shiny prize to a lot of unreflective men is the cold catwalk model. The woman who doesn't smile, the femme fatale, the vixen. Really? That's a happy life? That's your prize? We want these difficult models that somehow keep us free and single. There's a lot of incompatible decent people that turn into things they both don't like because they just can't fit with each other. You're better off fitting alone on your, on your own in your own life finding hobbies, interests in a direction that's you and not caring so much about trying to love or trying to care. There's a lot of people that take for granted the stuff that they could care about in their own life. You might have family and friends and hobbies and pastimes and routines and a lot of stuff you could be doing and sharing and caring in other ways. In like a, a small way, I feel like I'm showing caring by doing these videos. I don't know to who, but I'm actually expressing it. 
rather than just trying to find female strangers to try and love, fitting those square pegs into round holes. Like at what point do you get depleted and you feel tired? I know I did. Did you just get tired of being invisible to an incompatible person? You might have both been nice. That's the part where I think a lot of people who aren't self-reflective can't find the language to explain. This is where it lobotomizes many of us, especially those of us who are overthinkers. We want to understand and the obsession and the going over and over of things in the past is because we don't want to have it happen again because we want to move forward and not have to worry in an out of control way where I hope this doesn't happen again to me. We want to understand why. And most of the time it just comes down to you had no standards by which you were making friends, picking jobs, picking women. You just wanted the role and you thought you could work it out. You can somehow chisel your way into a relationship. Men feel shame quite acutely compared to women. So I think a lot of the pain of the past where we lament and frustrate ourselves of what went wrong, what could I have done, it was all my fault because, you know, apparently it's always a man's fault when relationships don't work out. But a lot of times, uh, a lot of guys don't self-reflect to know what they want and what their boundaries and standards are, where they're just trying to love an incompatible person. They're trying to love a woman that doesn't deserve the time of day, let alone a ring on her finger or your child. The real pain, gentlemen, resides in that we gave pieces of ourselves to incompatible women that we'll never get back because of time. What you gave up, you permanently gave up a part of yourself to some female stranger because you wanted to care about someone. You'll never get it back. That's why a lot of guys, if you don't self-reflect, if you keep doing the same thing blindly, crossing your fingers and you're thinking that, well, the success of the next relationship is just a matter of rolling the dice with my eyes closed like I did previously, what happens is you deplete your tank and you get spent and you just don't care anymore even if the right woman came along. And I'm not saying you should. Believe me, guys, I have to keep repeating this because the knee-jerk reaction is that, oh, a human believes in unicorns. I'm saying that when you self-analyze, when you self-reflect, when you really look at what you have and understand what you do and don't want, whether you do want to date or not, you're going to give away less of yourself and feel less shame later on, less confusion too. Every failed relationship depletes you weighs you down. And if you don't self-reflect, look in the mirror and find out what you do want, what your no's and your yeses are, be confident enough to speak them and to know how to speak them. And don't associate with people that keep tearing them down and making you take backward steps all the time. Until you do that, guys, you're going to constantly wear yourself out, deplete your tank of caring that um, life's not going to be good for you going forward. I tell you guys, my life got immeasurably better when I gave up on women. I stopped trying to love women, stopped trying to love the next female stranger because I wanted to care. You've got pr plenty of people in your life you could probably give affection to and caring and time and attention to. Stop trying to get that relationship job. Stop trying. It's funny how we don't try in anything that we already have in our lives. Trying to compromise, trying to fit a square peg into a round hole, putting on that boyfriend role, what was expected of me, you get nowhere. How many times do you need to rinse and repeat that thing before you finally get tired of it? I just started to find other ways that I could care about things in my life, care about my hobbies, my family and the friends already around me. Leaving that door open to maybe find someone, but not looking for it anymore, not trying to find someone to care about. And you have to get to a point where you say, I just want to be happier. What can I do to make my life happier? How can I speak? How can I think? What content can I consume where I can step forward and enjoy life? Yeah, vent. There's nothing wrong with calling out women. In fact, we should do more of it. But don't stay in that space. It's not just about no's. It's about yeses. The main pain for a lot of guys, I think, is that we gave ourselves away. We threw away parts of our lives that we'll never get back. You need to swallow that bitter pill, gentlemen, and learn from it going forward so you don't give away yourself so cheaply and frivolously to hookups and incompatible women. We gave ourselves away and gave parts of ourselves away that we'll never get back. The lesson is what you have remaining, don't give it away unconsciously. Think about what you want, who you are, and how you want to live. And only tolerate and give the time to those kind of people who are your kind of person. Stop 
caring about incompatible people. Stop trying to love and just be open to a life that suits you. That includes things and people. If you enjoyed this video, guys, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Hit the bell icon. It helps YouTube notify you and share my videos around properly. Comment down below. I really love the conversation and the comments from some of you guys relating to these topics because my point of view is not always going to impart some vital bit of information. A lot of times it comes from different guys mentoring in the comment section. So please leave your comments down below. And if you feel like um, supporting the channel, links down below. I really, really appreciate it, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.